Because let's go back to you. A part of what Catherine McBride said there was a danger is that because you're using the t extra tax revenues from the oil and gas companies themselves, they may produce less, which will compound the problem. What do you say to that? Well, they have told us that they won't. Uh, the BP uh, chief executive was asked very explicitly about the windfall tax proposal in which he was said, what of all of your announced uh, investment plans will you cancel because you're now paying more tax? And he said, nothing. We won't cancel any investment plans. And the reason for this is well known to economists uh, and business people, which is that your investment plans are funded out of your expected profits. And these profits that the companies have been getting because the energy price has been so much higher are not the expected profits that they were planning for a year or two ago when they made their investment plans. They are pure profit and they are planning mostly to give them back to their shareholders, not to put them into investment. So that's simply not true. And the more remarkable thing, if I may say that Catherine said, is that what we want to do is to give the oil and gas companies tax breaks so that we produce more gas claiming, she said, that this would reduce the price. The price is set on the international market. No amount of extra production in the North Sea will change the international price. We're not such a big producer that we can change the international price. So doing that would simply make us more reliant on gas, which is this incredibly volatile priced fuel. And what we really need to do in the medium to long term, as indeed Keir Starmer said, is to get ourselves off gas and get ourselves more on to the renewable energy, which doesn't have a volatile price set on the international market. It is really extraordinary to think that the solution to this gas volatility and gas dependence should be more dependence and more volatility. That really is not a sensible plan uh, for our energy future.